All right, so Dylan, after the St. Joe's game, I know there was some frustration in terms of team performance overall. You guys responded, though, in a big way. Not only did you get the win, but fairly dominant against Duke. How special is it to get it done against the Blue Devils team? Um, it was, it was, you know, the all focus. You know, we wanted to get to the lead day. You know, we know this is a, a single tournament in its own, and you know, we really wanted to come out there and get this win. You know, everybody watches Duke. Everybody, you know, loves or hates Duke. And at this time, you know, we didn't like Duke. So we really try to take it to them, uh, really run them, and, uh, you know, share the basketball and then not let them get uh, second chance points because they're really good at uh, getting second chance points. You know, talking to Dan Altman last week, I knew a point of emphasis was going to be stopping Duke from knocking down the three ball. You guys did a really nice job. Seven threes for them in the game. How much of a point of emphasis was for you in particular to get out on shooters? Yeah, uh, it, it was a big focus on you know everybody's mind. You know Ingram, all those guys from one to four could really shoot it. So you know we really had to get out there and you know if we knew we stopped that, you know we would we would get the ultimate win. Uh, you know, we had mental lapses at some points, but, uh, you know, we really wanted to come out there and release off their three and then make them penetrate and make them come to, you know, our shot blockers and Jordan and uh, Chris Boucher. And, you know, we followed the game plan and it worked out to our favor. What is it about some of the other guys on the team? After the St. Joe's, you said, hey, it might be me one night. It might be Elgin Cook. You guys both play well tonight, but Jordan Bell obviously stepped up huge in this particular game. What is it about the versatility of this team that has made it such a special run? You know, we got so many versatile guys that can guard so many positions. Um, and then, you know, help us out the other end. You know, Jordan was going on defense and offense, you know, creating energy and, you know, being so confident out there, giving everybody else confidence. You know, when you make a great play, you know, it gets their confidence up and you see shots falling that normally they don't fall and guys are, you know, trying to make the hustle plays and, you know, doing uh, the extra things, you know, to for a team to win. And that's what you need to do, you know, to be a championship team is, you know, you got to do all the little things, each and one player, and, you know, you got to be all in. You know, that's what Coach preaches, you know, you got to give it all to your team. You can't be shy because once you're shy, you know, some players, you know, see that and then they, and, and they, they don't give their 110 percent. But, you know, once you're all in, and I, you know, I feel like everybody's all in, you know, we can win. Have to be all in against an Oklahoma team, obviously talented. You've risen your game up against NBA-type talent. Buddy Heald is another one of the premier scorers in this conference. The defensive challenge for you, how much are you going to embrace that in this game? I'm going to embrace it so much. You know, everybody talks about Buddy Hill. Every time I turn on TV, it's Buddy Hill, Buddy Hill, Buddy Hill. And, you know, I know our guys see that, and I know our guys are going to take the challenge and, you know, really want to stop him and, you know, try to beat a, you know, a great, well-coached Oklahoma team.